Hey guys in this video we're gonna be checking out the top 10 best electric coffee grinders brands. They are available on the market for their true quality. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research and have listed them based on popularity, quality, price, durability, user opinions, and more. If you want to see more information on the updated price you can check out the description below and also make sure to subscribe for more reviews. So let's start with the video. Number 10. KitchenAid Burr Coffee Bean Grinder. Jamie McCormick, co-owner of East Village Coffee Shop Abraco, swears by this KitchenAid model. It grinds to a very consistent particle size, right up there with my shop's Malkinig EK, a commercial coffee grinder that costs more than $2,500. Along with top-notch technology, it's very robust. How does he know? It still works fine after being dropped on a concrete floor in the roastery about five years ago. It looks gross and unusable, but it still purrs, no problem, he says. One potential downside to taking into account, according to McCormick, it's loud and it sounds like a machine. Nama Shifio, the founder of the Jewish Food Society, calls the model powerful, using it every day, sometimes multiple times a day, to make coffee in her moke pot. Key Features Number 9 Barazza Virtuoso plus Conical Burr Coffee Grinder Barazza's Virtuoso plus Coffee Grinder is regularly picked as the home grinder to beat by professionals, and for good reason. Its well-made conical burrs produce a wide range of grind sizes, the results are consistent, the machine is solidly built from both metal and plastic, and it's all backed up by good customer service. I don't like taking apart and reassembling the burr set for cleaning, as it's not intuitive enough, but other than that, this is the power grinder for serious homemade coffee drinkers looking for maximum control over grind size. Key Features Number 8. Breville Smart Pro Coffee Bean Grinder Breville's Smart Grinder Pro has been the Serious Eats office grinder for over two years, grinding beans for multiple pots of coffee per day, and it's done the job admirably. While the Barazza machines in this review are all analog, the Breville offers an attractive digital control interface. A different major kitchen review site complained about the interface, saying it was difficult to figure out how to use it. I have no idea what they're talking about it couldn't be clearer or simpler. A large turn dial sets the grind level, which is clearly indicated on the on-screen grind chart. That chart has some useful labels, suggesting which grind setting ranges are best for which brewing methods, a helpful starting point when trying to dial in a grind. Key Features Number 7. Krupp's Precision Flat Burr Coffee Grinder If the price points of our favorite grinders make them a no-questions-asked proposition, and if you want to stop using a blade grinder to grind your beans, after all, your coffee tastes like it sucks a little because you blitzed cumin in there too, you can't beat the price on this Krupp's model. Its grind is inconsistent, and its build quality leaves much to be desired, but you get what you pay for. On the upside, even with an uneven grind, you'll have more control over the size of your grind than you would with a blade grinder, and that's what's important to many people. Key Features Number 6 Bodum Bistro Electric Burr Coffee Grinder Bodum makes it clear exactly what setting to use with its well-labeled burr coffee grinder. 
The airtight plastic lid is engraved with a chart that suggests how long to grind the beans based on the type and quantity of coffee you're making. Turn the 7.75 ounce hopper to select one of 12 grind settings, the hopper is angled, which allows the beans to flow into the grinder. In our tests, the Bodum Burr coffee grinder was able to create equal grounds on fine, medium, and coarse settings, all of which were noticeably different in size, perfect for espresso, drip coffee, French press, and cold brew. The Bodum grinder has a timer that grinds in increments of 5 for up to 20 seconds. Its glass container has a lid that prevents soil from flying everywhere. The lid stays in place while you shake the grounds into the filter, but it's also easy to remove if you want to use a coffee scoop. The ground container has a rubber grip around it for easy handling and it easily slides in and out of the container. Key features Number 5. KitchenAid Blade Coffee Grinder A burr grinder will get you noticeably better coffee, but there's nothing wrong with a plain old blade grinder. If you're just grinding coffee for a drip machine, French press, or pour over, a blade grinder will work just fine in most cases. My personal favorite is this KitchenAid that I picked up on Amazon a few years ago. It's sturdy, and it has a slightly removable cup so you don't have to flip the entire grinder over in your coffee machine to empty the grounds. Pro tip, if you pulse it instead of holding it for a long grind, you'll get a more consistent grind and you won't end up with nearly whole beans floating to the top of your coffee filter. A more consistent grind equals more flavor in your cup. Key features Number 4. Baratza Encore Conical Burr Coffee Grinder There is a good reason why Baratza Encore has remained unchanged in the market for over a decade. While coffee culture can often seem elitist and uninviting, this conical burr grinder is more accessible and less expensive than most quality grinders. There are 40 settings, from a fine grind for espresso to a coarse grind for a French press. However, if drip coffee is your lifeblood, you'll want to stick with a medium setting of around 20. It's easy to operate, features an automatic shutoff timer, and doesn't hog counter space. The Baratza Encore is also easy to clean and repair. No tools are required to disassemble the machine and replacement parts are easy to obtain. Also, there is a one-year warranty. The Encore has a bigger, beefier cousin, the Encore Vario W, but for most people, the Encore is a much better choice. The Encore Vario W has a scale and has flat burrs, but at over $500 it doesn't do much to justify that price. Key features Number 3. OXO Brew Conical Burr Coffee Grinder In our testing, we were impressed with how the OXO Burr Grinder performed. It produced very even coffee grounds that could be used for espresso, cold brew, and everything in between. The hopper, where the beans are stored, features a UV blocking tint and an airtight lid, both of which help preserve flavor. It can hold 3 quarters pounds of coffee beans, the largest capacity of all the grinders we tested. The grinder operates at the touch of a button and grinds into a static fighting stainless steel container, which has a lid with a hole large enough to empty the grounds into the coffee filter without making a mess. The lid helps prevent grounds from shooting everywhere during grinding. After emptying the ground, you can safely click the container, ready for the next batch. Key features Number 2. Hamilton Beach Fresh Grind Electric Coffee Grinder 
Blade grinders are generally less expensive than burr grinders, but this affordable fresh grind electric coffee blade grinder from Hamilton Beach also stands out in terms of performance. It can confidently grind up to 9 tablespoons of coffee beans quickly and evenly. It is also easy to operate by pressing a single button. The clear lid lets you see inside to check how your beans are grinding, and the grinding pot is removable, making it easy to empty the coffee filter. Unlike other blade grinders we've tested, the holder has 6 dash, 10 and 12 cup coffee grounds markings to better manage your experience. It also lists the most for spices, although we generally recommend grinding your coffee and spices with different grinders. An additional unique feature is the cord storage system hidden within the base, pull it down to reveal a dowel you can use to wrap the cord around, and pop it up to hide it. Key Features Number 1 Cuisinart Supreme Grind Automatic Burr Mill If you don't drink coffee every day, or, like me, you buy pre-ground beans most of the time, you won't even want to spend $100. This $60 grinder from Cuisinart is one of the most affordable on the market with a burr-style blade, and it works perfectly, at least in my experience. It's pretty intuitive to use, you simply fill the chamber with beans, it can fit about a full pound at a time, set the dial to any of 18 settings between fine and coarse grind, and set the cup you're planning. Brew, although you won't need to if you pre-weighed the number of beans you put in in the first place, and press start. Most pieces are removable and dishwasher safe, and it stores well, it's rectangular and compact, with cord wrapping space underneath. Key Features